my only question with this one is, where is the Sam robot? Where, what happens to the Sam robot? Because we see Tuckerbot uh, again in Phantom Planet, but whatever happened to Sambot? Um, did she get thrown away into the, in the trash heap? Um, I don't, I don't know. I want to know what happened to Sambot, because you'd think that they would be able to, uh, use that robot for something else. Like, uh, I mean, the Tuckerbot and the Sambot could take Tucker and Sam's place whenever, uh, in school whenever they're out trying to help Danny. I mean, seriously. Uh, I, I'd like to know what happened to the Sambot. Um, but yeah, so this is Danny Phantom. This is the episode Live in Large. And, um, uh, the guys in white, um, the guys in white, uh, <clears throat> decide to, um, the guys in white decide to, uh, buy out, uh, the Fenton's home, um, give them this giant check with, like, a bunch of money on it. We never actually find out how much money they were going to give them, but I would guess it'd be a lot considering how they're constantly buying things that would cost like hundreds and thousands of dollars. Um, and the first thing they buy is a multi, is like a multi-million dollar mansion, um, like right next to Vlad's mansion. Um, Yeah, and, uh, and Danny has, has someone build him new friends, has him build a Tucker bot and a Sam bot, um, and apparently they have a, uh, butler, and it's like, how much money did the government give them? Uh, that's something else that constantly uh, twirls in my head whenever I watch this episode. How much money did they actually receive? Because this seems like a lot of stuff to pay for. Um, and, yeah, it, it goes exactly out as you would expect it does. Uh, the money starts to go to Danny's head, and, um, yeah, he just starts being lazy and everything, and, um, yeah, yeah, so, he, uh, Sam and Tucker are trying to, uh, find out what, um, the guys in white want with, uh, the Fenton's home, and they find out that, um, they're going to, try to nuke the ghost world. Uh, but seeing as how it's the flip side uh, to the human world, if it goes, so does the human world. Um, so, yeah, I don't think the guys in white know this. At least that's... That's what it seemed like. It seems like they didn't know that. Um, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, of course, Danny, Danny snaps out of his lazy streak. He goes, saves the day, and they go back to their regular home. Um, yeah. Um, uh, 
Yeah. It's... This one's okay. Uh, <clears throat> the best scene in this episode has to be when uh, Sam sees her robot self. Uh, just her reaction. That's ex exactly the kind of reaction you would expect her to have. And, uh, yeah, it, it's around this time that you you start to see um, the whole uh, romantic side of Danny and Sam's relationship. Uh, it's around this time when you uh, get to see a lot of that. We got to see a little... We got to see a bit of it in Urban Jungle. And... Pretty much every episode from this point on is just going to have at least one or two good uh, romantic scenes between uh, him and Sam. Just building up that romance uh, to the finale. Um, and, yeah. Uh, this one's okay. I, I kind of like this one. Um, I'm, I think I'll give this one a... 6.8. It's better than a 6.5, but not so good as I would think I would give, the, give it a 7. But it's close. So, I'll give it a 6.8. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, so, it's okay. So, it's okay. Um, I'm going to be putting up the next video here in just a few minutes, because I missed yesterday... Um, so, look forward to that, and I will see you then. Take care.